we uh, quickly want to thank a few people while we're at it. I quickly want to thank the eSports Game Arena for providing us with a bunch of gaming monitors for the event. They, uh, they came in very helpful at the very end there, uh, making sure that we could, uh, we could do that. So uh, the EGA is a home to a variety of on-site uh, gaming events in Alphen and the Rhine, uh, including our BHG bi-monthly marathons. And it looks like uh, they're just about ready to go, so I'm going to give it back to, uh, to Thextera. Like I said, keep an eye out on the uh, chat for the prize codes, as well as your email in case you did donate. And, uh, you know, maybe, just maybe you've won. But uh, up next will be Lemma by Cyber. Nice life. Nice. All right. Hello. Yo. What's up? All right. So, um, <laughs> welcome to Lemma. This is. Um, have you ever seen Mirror's Edge? It's kind of like that, but more like a more abstract world and more. What do you call it? Not natural mechanics. More Lemma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll make sense uh, when we get into the game, actually. So yeah. Maybe we should do a little roll call. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm Cyber. And uh, hey, I'm RDV. Uh, Cyber was feeling a little nervous about this gen. Oh, yeah. So I was <laughs> like, ah, uh, you know what? Let me just uh, invite myself onto the couch and co commentate. <laughs> so I'm here. Yeah, I have a You're going to get sick of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be a recurring theme. So yeah, just get ready for just that. a slight hunch. <laughs> All right, so time's going to start when I do the first move. So. You want to get a countdown going, boys? Lemma just start a countdown. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! All right. <laughs> so this is the first segment of the game, Rain. Um, the way movement mechanics in this game work is it will unlock those over time. So right now our move set is very limited. So what you're going to be seeing me do for um, most of the start of the run is Doing these bunny hops, they basically, basically you want to just keep jumping around and uh, while you do that, hold a left or right direction in the air. That, for some reason, gives you a speed boost and if you chain those uh, jumps correctly, you can theoretically build infinite momentum. But if you do it wrong, you're just going to get thrown off to the side. So if I ever like fall off to the side, yeah, that was bad bunny hops. We're now getting introduced to wall jumps, so that was bad. Uh, that right there is a signal tower that would be like important for story, but we don't have to interact with this one. There's only a few um, signal towers that we actually have to interact with. That one's one of the less important ones. Okay, it didn't jump right there. <laughs> let me let me just say that was a really good save. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rain is a bit uneventful, it's just the start of the game, but um, this next chapter, Dawn, is where we like get introduced to a lot of new mechanics and it's also got the first few skips. Right there, we're going a little bit fast and I'm going to try to chain these jumps correctly to just not have to wall run right there. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so that can happen. Imagine like having a lot of speed and that just makes it hard to control yourself. Oh yeah, I also haven't mentioned this, uh, because this is a hard run and that's probably not going to be the only death of the run, um, I decided to make it a little more interesting for myself and I'm going to be donating 5 euros per death, so if anyone's going to keep track of the deaths, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you've got one, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to try and help you out with that then. Thanks man. Okay, so these white cubes, um, if they, g if you get too close to them, they're gonna start chasing you down, and once they're near you, they're gonna blow up. They can uh, destroy terrain with that, and they can kill you, which is bad. Also, first skip That's coming nice. up right here. Oh, I didn't get the wall jump. One. Two. <laughs> there we go. All right, so. Usually you'd have to go through like this whole back segment of uh, Dawn to run back and uh, trigger a switch, but that way we can just 
jump past the door, and that saves like roughly 45 seconds if I would not have died. Also, we get some di uh, some dialogue right here. This is the first uh, signal tower that we have to interact with because that's going to open the door for us. I'm also going to be attempting a pretty difficult skip right here. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Am I? Oh, ah, oh yeah, I'm dead. Dang. Three. <laughs> that's 15 euros. Hell yeah. All right. We're just gonna do this. Um, this red stuff kills you. Like, you saw me die right there. That was because of the red stuff, so... Let's just do the backup that I also failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be so poor after this one. Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, perfectly, you would just not um, get rid of the red stuff and just like jump off of the edge of that platform and just have enough speed uh, right off the bat. Oh my god, this is terrible. 25 bucks for charity. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's not so, bad. It's just being a nice person. Just, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. Your money just belongs to charity now. Yeah. All, All right. It. So this red guy is pretty random where he is. So now I have to like take a long way around him. He's a bit of a dingus. All right. That was uh, not an optimal dawn. Let's call it that. <laughs> That's fine. That means the rest of the run is going to be great, right? Yeah. Um, I'm too far ahead. That works. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not six. Let's go. <laughs> Not 30 bucks. All right. So whenever you wall run, um, the wall kind of extends for you from here on out. And while you're wall running, you're also faster. So you, you're going to see me wall run a lot. What the heck am I doing? Sure, this will work. So, uh, forest is basically one gigantic puzzle, and there's a and there's a harder skip for it. But uh, I'm not that great of a runner of this game, so I just like kind of came up with my own uh, way easier setup for this. So don't put yourself down like that. Dude. <laughs> You're doing just fine. do a little wall run right there. Get over here, and then. Head over here, and that's another pretty big skip, actually. Um, you'd have to trace around the entire level and activate, like, two or three switches. Oh yeah. And we're gonna have a similarly big skip in the next uh, chapter as well. Alright, that wall run's actually kind of tricky, so... That was pretty good. Have a longer loading screen right here. Oh, that was a bit weird. All right, so another little skip right here. A oh, bit of an awkward wall run right there. All right, and also hold on, I'm gonna have to. Ah, so you can skip the cutscene right there um, if you hit the quick save button and right before you, right before the game actually loads the cutscene, um, enter the menu and then reload that save. Uh, then the game is already in a state where it thinks it already played the cutscene, which allows you to just go right on. Let's save about eight seconds. Or however long that cutscene takes. All right. Also, this is like one of the bigger skips in the run. Um, Monolith is supposed to be like one big puzzle where you like go around, hit five switches and destroy the little building that we saw in the cutscene. Ah, uh, I missed that. That's 30 bucks. <laughs> oh, that was weird. So yeah, um, that's like one and a half minutes of um, stuff skipped. Um. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Good stuff. God gamer. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Seven minutes, okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Hey, we already had like six or seven bits. <laughs> Alright. Another little cut uh little cutscene skip right there. The game auto saves after every chapter, so all you have to do is just get into the menu and then reload that save, and you don't have to wait for the character to actually get up. And this is where the game kind of uh, gets very confusing uh, from a casual standpoint. Fractures is basically one entire one entirely big maze. And we have to go through a lot of sub-areas and do things there. So, 
if you don't know what you're doing uh, in a casual playthrough, you can easily get lost here. And that's that's kind of um, the downfall of this game. It's not that great at showing you where you have to go. Let me know when you have some time for a couple donations. In a moment, we're just like skipping this thing right here. Again, we just skipped a little wall. Um, another neat little time save, but... It is going to be a good uh, segment actually coming up where we're going to have some time for donations. In just a bit. So right here we're going to have to reconnect to this power line. And then we're going to be going up here and we're going to get my favorite enemy in the entire run, the big red pillar. So when you get too close to them, the, they come crashing down on you and you die. <laughs> <laughs> that one's just hard to avoid. I, I have never figured out a good way to get past this one, so... Let me just remind you that's like 35 bucks. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna be broke. Um, <laughs> All for charity. Yep. So... Worth it. Right? How do, how do I do this now? <laughs> I should have practiced this more. Oops. Alright, this thing's already open. So we had to activate those switches and in turn get close to that big red pillar because um, that opens that tesseract for us. Alright, so if you do an early wall jump right there, oh my god, you can get past that guy. Uh, with that being said, the rest of Fractures, for the most of it, is just going to be a race against the clock because um, we trigger these little... Um, I don't know what you call them, like, they look like weird little spaceships. And they, like, deliver the and the power to some of these power lines, so... Uh, the next three sub-areas is just going to be trying to uh, arrive at the Tesseract before them. So, yeah, with that being said, this is a good segment for some donations. Fantastic. We just got a 5 euro donation from Anonymous, which just says, sick. <laughs> and then we have a 10 euro donation from Anonymous saying, Great to see this game at an in person marathon. Do be proud, Cyber. I believe in the first try light pu oh. uh, I believe in the first try light puzzle skip. <laughs> yeah, not happening. I actually forgot to connect the power line there, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is a train wreck for sure. All right. If you got like more things to say, go ahead. This is a very boring segment. Fantastic. We just got another five euro donation from Zyro saying, Don't Lemma distract you. <laughs> good luck for the rest of the run. Lemma say that was a really good comment. Uh, <laughs> he's in the audience. <laughs> uh, I only need to trigger this one. All right. Just a little more waiting, and then we actually get some stuff to do again. Because I'm going to be trying to skip another um, switch, which is going to be a little tricky, because we're, go we're going to get introduced to another new type of enemy, which is the Black Block Cloud. Um, their idle movement is random, and once you get close to them, they kind of chase you down and just, yeah, swallow you whole, basically. And this one in particular could be really annoying for this skip. Uh, it looks like he's being nice, um, but this is a little weird. Hold on. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I swear. <laughs> so we're just gonna like make this platform Playing right with my here. Heart, dude. <laughs> and then we're gonna get a wall run and then jump over here. All right. It just skips another like little switch. I don't want to be too fast here, because otherwise um, the red floor is not going to dissolve in time and I'm going to die. Just not ideal, and I'm also going to try to get a little glitch right here. Ah, no! The phone didn't come out. Why is that? Um, <laughs> so the idea of that glitch is, um, if you're moving while the phone gets forced out, like in this uh, segment the phone would get forced out after a bit, and if you can, like, do a ledge grab and a wall kick right after, um, the game the game thinks you're moving, but at the same time, um, it pulls up the phone, and then it gets really confused because you're not supposed to be moving around while you're holding the phone. Um, that's fine. 
Usually I just take an intentional death there, but I'm I don't want to be broke. <laughs> so we're just gonna backtrace like this. Oh, uh, I am. Um, I actually wanted to like grab that wall while um, creating it with a wall run. It's a bit of an awkward move, but you can do that. But if you fail that, it's fine. You can just walk over that and you make it anyways. All right, this this. Oh my god, this guy's a dingus. <laughs> oh. They're just not nice today. All right. That's the end of Fractures. Finally out of that mess. <laughs> yeah, we're not even halfway through. Alright, so Fortress introduces the follower cubes, and with those you can create um, platforms out of thin air, close to other walls and stuff. And we're gonna be hopefully making good use of that to skip a this big wall in front of us. So hopefully I can get this set up. It's a bit tricky. Okay. I don't think I have the height for that actually. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about this one. I may have to try for that again. How do I do this now actually? <laughs> I'm going to find a way. You can do it, I believe. This could work. Please stay up on that. Ah. This is wacky. It's okay, we're just gonna take it real nice and slow. Since you're taking it slow, do let me know when you have uh, more time for donations. There we go, so we got over that. Okay. You can actually still die by falling into the water there, if you... Uh, but to prevent that, you just wall jump. And now the game kind of wants you to just uh, walk around on these uh, platforms that are going to rise from the water, but we can just wait right here because there's going to be one platform that is just going to take me right to where I want to be. So just a little bit. These follower cubes could get out of my vision right there. That's the one. I guess we got a bit more time for some donations. Okay, we just got five euros from Clever Pigeon saying that ten dollar donation or ten euro donation was me. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> I don't know why it said it was anonymous, but I'm making myself known, and Cipher knows why. Like I said, first try, light puzzle skip. <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry about the anonymous thing. That tends to happen Ooh, occasionally. Yeah. Uh, we also got uh, five euros from Sniper Wave saying good luck on the run, Cyber. Uh, show is the uh, unlimited potential of this game. That, that was a good one, actually. <laughs> and we also have good five stuff. euros from uh, Diner Low saying fear the deer and also good luck, Cyber. Yo. All right, so we got a little bit of dialogue right here, so that gives me some time to explain Mark. So this is actually already the last chapter of the run, but it's like more than half of the run. It's, it's very big and very, very confusing, and I'm gonna try at least to explain what we have to do here. So basically, there's three people trapped in this world, and we have to just um, kind of bring them to closure. So we have the option to either save or kill them, um, but if we save them, uh, you get a cutscene, and the world starts collapsing around you, so the game gets a little more difficult because platforms disappear. So killing them is not only easier, but also faster. So... We're going to be doing that, so, and to, in order to do that, we're going to have to walk around the entirety of uh, Mark and pick up follower cubes. There's three sets of follower cubes, and each f set of follower cube is associated with a person, so these little plus signs that you see here, those are the follower cubes that we have to pick up. And yeah, this is a very rough map of the area. And by looking uh, over the tesseracts in this area, you can see where you're going, so this is going to take us to Lower White. not going to be here for much longer because we're going to be moving right into upper white and that's going to be where the first follower cube segment is. Oh, I wall ran a little too early there. Okay. Uh, is that 45? Yeah, that's 45. Yep. Confirmed by the audience. 
that was supposed to happen. Like, a little ground would appear below me, but the game was just like, nah. Just what happens sometimes. All right. So the following cube segments are um, little puzzles. But, yeah. Doing things the intentional way is not how we roll here. So, uh, first off, you're supposed to uh, bring this pyramid down, and that would also trigger a bit of a, a guardian, I think it's called, uh, which basically just constantly tries shooting you when you get into his range. Uh, into his range. Uh, yeah, let's not deal with that guy. Nice, I got that wall grab. So then we can just jump over here and get into that. And there's the first set of follower cubes. I was supposed to wall uh, run, but that's fine. One good thing about follower cubes is they completely ignore from how far you fall. Um, they just don't kill you with uh, fall damage from heights that absolutely should kill you with fall damage. So, especially in like this next segment, I'm going to be abusing that a lot. If everything works out, very fine. That was a v that was a pretty weird one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Like the better runners of this game, Clever Pigeon and Jan Mermerick, they're they're gonna know their stuff and. They can manipulate these things. I just, for the most, I just improvise this, so... Yeah. I, I just kind of hit the left shift button and pray that it's gonna work out for me. That's a weird one. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this that's game is uh... great. Yo, that's 50. <laughs> Oh, we've hit 50 bucks, guys. 55. F 55. <laughs> 55 bucks <laughs> for charity. Let's Where go. am I? Oh, my God. Respawns in this game are pretty bad sometimes. All right, we're going to try this. Yeah, this entire tower segment is just guarded by these uh, exploding guys. And if, the, if one too many uh, comes after you, you're going to have a bad time. All right, we made it there. Okay, right <laughs> up in my face. He didn't even want to hide it that he's tired of my sh uh, <laughs> tired of the things I do here. All right. So yeah, a good technique to just uh, get up on these platforms is just kind of spam follower cubes and hope it worked out. I don't even know what I was trying there. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be poor. Love you, audience. <laughs> They're doing a great job. Counting with Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure they still know how to count. And so far, they're doing a good job. Yeah, what is we've, that? We've made it to 12, so, you know. Uh, this game sometimes. All right. Just spamming a little right there and hoping we get up. That works out. So right here, I'm actually going to trigger this switch ahead of time because that's going to help me um, get out of this segment faster because um, we're coming up with the first person segment where we're going to uh, dump our follower cubes t and get the decision to either save or kill a person. Oh. What you gonna do? We're gonna kill him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already went over that. <laughs> um, if you save them, you get a cutscene and the world around you starts collapsing, so platforms disappear and the game gets harder, TLDR. This is the shortest person segment. Some of the person segments are like very intricate puzzles. Um, this one is not. It's very easy. So a little bit of dialogue right here. And then we get to make our choice, and left is kill. So, goodbye. 
two, one down, two to go. Um, that's fine. <laughs> All right. So right here, I'm going to try for a relatively difficult strat. Let's see if I can get this. I'm too far, um, I'm too far ahead, so I'm just gonna reload that quick save, and yeah. That's one way to ignore fall damage, to just quick save in the air, and then the game just kind of thinks, oh yeah, that's the height that you that you just uh, started falling from, so... So do we have to count that as a death as well? Nope, that is not a death. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think I have to uh, agree with uh, Cruel Deer. We still got some time for a couple of deaths to happen, so... Yay. We love you, by the way. Just so you know. We also like your money. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I... I we, we, we love oh, you, but, oops. you know, I... Yeah, there, have some more. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There, I felt bad for you guys. All right. This is uh, one of the most convoluted segments in 100% actually, because um, you'd have to like go around the entire level and pick up those nodes and orbs that you may have seen uh, over the course of the run. Please let me over. Thank you. Uh, here we just kind of beeline right to the follower cubes and then peace out again. Yeah, um, one thing I have, one thing I haven't talked about, these, um, that yellow ground, um, kind of disappears when you stand on it. So, you don't want to stay on it for too long, but if you're kind of falling, uh, you're forced to stay there. This could actually work. Oh, Sure, nice. let's, let's just go with, let's just, yeah. Yeah, that was all intentional, you can clap for that, definitely. <laughs> I am most certainly a god gamer. And also, hopefully, rich. <laughs> Not after this run. <laughs> That's fine. There was no guarantee that this run would have made it in, so let's make it worth it. Can I come in here with a with a donation? Sure thing. Is it a lemma pun? If so, absolutely. No, no it's not, okay, but well. it, it, it's, it's a very good one either way. Okay, we just got one euro from Spoiled Freckle. He said, hey, Cypher, you don't know me, but I feel like we've really bonded over this speedrun so far. So as a token of our friendship, how about I match your death donation? Oh. So let's make it 10 euros per death and we'll split it 50-50. Oh. Now, I think well, we... you know what to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Nice, now I can make two people broke. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, if you, you know... How many deaths are we at already? Uh, 14 right now. 14. 14. So that's already 140 bucks. D oh, definitely. boy. Definitely. Um, yeah, let's... Let's just do this instead, I guess. So in this segment, we're activating two switches. Um, the other one's like right above me. I just need to get up. There we go. All right. Another neat little instance of just abusing the fact that follower cubes completely save you from fall damage. All right, so this is the light puzzle that Clever Pigeon was talking about. There's a um, pretty difficult strat to just completely skip this, but I haven't been able to figure it out for the life of me, so we're not gonna see a light puzzle skip. Sorry, clever. Uh, it's fine. So what we're, what we're gonna be doing instead is we're gonna be going around this entire level and just hit these little light switches. And if we hit all of them, it's gonna open the path to the next person. A 
really hope I don't miss any of those. Oh. That's a problem. Yeah, this guy is gonna be um, chasing me for a bit here. Doesn't it all sound disturbing? Yep. <laughs> Should be fine though. Alright. Let's go of you after a while, so if you just keep being good, then he will eventually get tired of chasing you and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, nice, I actually connected that. Cool. Just gonna slowly drop ourselves down here to activate the final few switches. And we're gonna be on our way. Just those two left. And then the door should open, which it does. Good, we didn't miss any. Also, when you slide kick up that, uh, up that staircase, for some reason you get a little speed boost. That's just one little wacky thing about the physics of this game. And yeah, that's another person, but you already know what's going to happen to them. See you later. <laughs> Cypher, as he just murdered someone. See you later. <laughs> wow. Listen, some sacrifices have to be made, and it doesn't have to be just me in this entire room. <laughs> All right. Only one more to go. Oh, 29. Yeah, I think we're going to go underestimate then. Cool. One thing that definitely helps me go underestimate here is um, I I don't have the best PC at home, so this one loads significantly faster. So if only I would play good right now, this would be a free PB. <laughs> but instead, I'm just going to die again. <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> Let's go. <laughs> good job, guys. Oh. <clears throat> Gonna be walking here for a little and then some more stuff. Don't overshoot that, good. What am I doing? I don't know. Improvising. Alright. So this is probably the longest follower cube segment in the game, but we're gonna make it relatively short by doing two neat little skips right here. So right here we're gonna grab that wall and then we're gonna get up here so that's already a great chunk of that uh, part skipped and now we're just gonna do some wall runs to get to the end like before I did the skip I think this segment took me like two and a half to three minutes so yeah it's a pretty big one and now it take, took me like 30 seconds And one more time, we're gonna abuse follower cubes. Nice. Alright, we're well on our way. We got a little bit of a reroute coming up. Um, you have uh, two options to either go into the hub world or into lower white, which is the segment that we need to go to. Um, but it's actually faster to go through the hub world first because um, the portal to lower white is somewhere all the way at the end. And yeah, the distance between uh, the test rig where we come out and the test rig to lower white there um, is a little shorter and you also get spit out um, a little later on into the segment. Alright. So we're back here. This time we're going to be taking a different route. We're going to go up here. What are you doing? Alright, so we're going to do a wall run right here, set up this wall. Back a little, get some speed from a slide kick, and then we're off. Uh, this this explosive guy, if he if he triggers on you during this segment, things go really bad because 
uh, just by moving around when he's aggressive, he can demolish the entire ground um, you stand on. So um, if he does that, getting up here is really, really annoying. Right. So I move there in a specific way to, gra to create that wall. That's an intentional death. Still a death, though. Yep, it is one. <laughs> that was uh, 17, right? I think so. <laughs> it was 16. All right. We're climbing up here, and... Oh, hey, we're already at the end. So since you'll be donating, well, at least 80 euros later, do you already have an incentive that you want to go... That, that you're going to be supporting? Um... Don't you do? <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think RDB oh. knows exactly what I'm about to say. Uh, oh, I'm I, I'm getting excited about this. <laughs> this this is sounding good. Yeah, I, I I heard there's a there's a certain Yoshi run coming up, and we could change the category of it to be longer. You could change the color. You could make sure pink wins by like a landslide. <laughs> it already is winning by a landslide, so nothing to change there. So yeah, let's let's just go for Yoshi story. All melons, one lap. Nice. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to uh, doing that. Oh yeah, we're by the way close to the end of the run. Um, <laughs> I'm just going back to the hub world now and then uh, escaping. So get ready on time. Oh, just gotta smush myself past this. All right, time will uh, end when I hit the when I enter the final tesseract. You could, you could, you could make him do it. Okay, rip charity. <laughs> Yo, what? That was a thirty-four. <laughs> yeah, 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 more than enough time to go. Very much underestimate. Wow. And also right, give us right. a ton of money. Uh, this this PC's load saved me big time because I think at home that would have easily been like a thirty-six or thirty-seven. <laughs> But yeah, let's just pretend I was like really good and went five minutes underestimate. No totally. Need to pretend. Yeah, great run, totally. So that was how many deaths? Sixteen. Sixteen. 16. All right, that's twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's eighty bucks. Oh boy. So I may regret this. <laughs> so it's fine. What actually is a lemma? What is lemma? You tell what, me. What is lemma? That's that's a good question. <laughs> it, 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 oh, it is a game. You're right. <laughs> Let my <ball. laughs> Can we ban this guy, please? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'll um, consider it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gruel. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. That was a pretty bad run, but hey, at least we had a bit of fun here, so... Thanks, RDV, for co-commentating this mess. <laughs> no problem. I enjoyed saying Lemma a few times and just kind of <laughs> counting how many times she died. You did a good job I, on I that. I liked counting your money. It was pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Oh, I'm not going to like counting my money after this marathon. Because <laughs> there's not going to be still, much uh, left. You still have 3D land left, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to be donating anything for that, though. <laughs> Um, I, I believe um, we're already doing something for Spectrobes. Oh, Sniper's not here anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're already probably doing something similar like this for Spectrobes, so I don't want to completely kill my wallet. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, you also still got to go to McDonald's a decent amount. Yeah, so that was... <laughs> <laughs> Just finish <it>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're good to end it here, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donating to this marathon. I'm going to be back later this week with 3D Land and Spectropes, and hopefully they're going to go better than this. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Cypher, for the run Thanks of all. Lemma. Uh, before we go into a short little ad break, I quickly want to mention we just got 80 euros from Spoiled Freckle saying, as promised, matching Cypher's death donation. Great run, my friend. And then there's a heart emote behind it. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to go into a quick little ad break, and once we get back, we'll be moving on to Rayman 2, The Great Escape by Rowan Plays Games. So we'll be right back with you guys.